The newly established magic shop behind the Gold Coast at Narang seems a curious sideline for a thrill-seeking trickster. Then again, maybe not. Okay. Well, I tell you what, Doug, I've never done this before with a hat-wearing subject, so we'll give it a go, eh? Are you ready? There you go, Doug. Simon Hart is a head case full of surprises. The shop filled with stock from a pack of cards to the old two-ball multiplication trick. OK, open it nice and slowly. There you go, you see, you've got four. More variations on the theme than you can imagine. The magic vault is open to the public. Simon, is it expensive? No, magic isn't expensive, Doug. Can I have your wallet? Fantastic. The reason why it isn't expensive, Doug, you may have been burnt before when you bought things, but not in here. He's a big fan of legendary escapologist Harry Houdini. When Extra caught up with Simon a few years ago, he was working on the Houdini-inspired straitjacket escape while suspended upside-down manoeuvre. Some cheeky reporter involvement saw me mimicking the effect using the old upside-down camera ploy. Great bit of TV magic, Doug. Simon, you ain't seen nothing yet. Nothing? In time-honoured tradition, I'll save that wow finish to later. It won't be easy topping the successful straight jacket escape 50 metres aloft. It's a classic, and it was good to see someone pull it off so well. Fellow magicians gather at the vault to check out the extensive library of books and DVDs. A chance to scan blueprints for Simon's upcoming projects. It's wise to check for any flaws that can prove fatal. Another showstopper copied from Houdini occurred on a Gold Coast canal. Manacled hand and foot, Simon jumped into the deep with just a lungful of air to sustain him through minutes of frantic padlock picking. And he's all right, folks. Round of applause, Simon Hart. Oh, I was pumped, yeah. I mean, whenever you do a jump into water, whenever you're underwater, I mean, you're doing everything by feel. A lot of these escapes people haven't seen. They've seen them on television or they've seen them in Vegas or somewhere like that, but not here in Australia. He just won't stop thinking of how to improve his skills. Conrad Kostakis is another magician switching from internet shopping to over-the-counter sales with a personal flavour, along with a demonstration, which brings us to the concept of duelling magicians, taking on the maestro in magic one-upmanship. That's pretty good, but you don't have the power of TV magic. Harry Houdini would be rolling in his grave or escaping.